evening, everybody. I'm going to call this meeting to order. Um, as a new session of council, whenever um, you have a role after the elections, before the council make their election for chair and those, the meeting has to be begun by the administrator and then turned over to council after the oath of office and election of officers. First, we'll have the administration of oath of offices for Orangeburg County Council members from the following council districts. And we'll start with Council District Number One, Mr. Johnny Wright Sr. If you come forward, and uh, Judge the Honorable Judge Derek Dash will be doing the swearing in in place of uh, Chief Magistrate. Uh, that is, in, he's just had surgery, so he's out, and Judge Dash will be doing it in his day. Uh Mr. Wright, if you would raise your right hand and place your left one on the Bible and repeat after me. I and state your name. I, Johnny Wright, Sr. Do, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I am duly qualified. That I am duly qualified. According to the Constitution of this state. According to the Constitution of this state. To exercise the duties. To exercise the duties. Of the office to which I have been elected. Of the office for which I have been elected. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Discharge the duties thereof. Discharge the duty thereof. And preserve. Preserve, protect, protect, and defend, and defend the Constitution of this state, Constitution of this state, and of the United States, and of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Congratulations. Next, we have the administration of oath for Council District Six, Ms. Lois Frazier. If you would raise your right hand, place your left on the Bible. <coughs> I and state your name. I, Dolores Frazier. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I am duly qualified. That I am duly qualified. According to the Constitution of this state. According to the Constitution of this state. To exercise the duties of the office. To exercise the duties of the office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Discharge the duties thereof. Discharge the duties thereof. And preserve. And preserve. Protect. Protect. And defend. And and defend the Constitution of the this con state, the Constitution of this state, and of the United States, and of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Councilmember Willoughby Owens is on. Ms. Owens, if you would raise your right hand and place your left hand on the Bible for me, please, sir. Which is my right hand? What's your name? Okay. Yeah. There you go. If, uh, and repeat after me, sir. I state your name. I really be on. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I am duly qualified. That I am duly qualified. According to the Constitution of this state. According to the Constitution of South Carolina. To exercise the duties of this office. To exercise the duty of this office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Discharge the duties thereof. To start the duties thereof. And preserve. And preserve. And protect. And protect. And defend. And defend. The Constitution of this state. The Constitution of South Carolina. And of the United States. And of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Motion been made, properly second. All those in favor of Johnny Wright being chairman show by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, ayes have it. Take a point of personal preference and say thank you to my colleagues for your vote of confidence in allowing me to represent you as chairperson and to the County of Orangeburg. Um, I would just like to say to all of you that uh, I am very honored and very humbled and very grateful to serve in this capacity. I will always try to do my very best. I'm committed to Orangeburg County. I'm committed to my colleagues. I'm committed to the growth and the betterment for a better quality of life for Orangeburg County. I will always put God in front of me and ask for him in his direction. I will try to get all the information the best I can before I make decisions. 
that I feel will represent the majority of the citizens of Orange County. Again, thank you so very much. At the beginning of our meeting, we always have uh, approval of, uh, we, we always have public comments, we have public comments of agenda items, public comments of other matters. I'd like to approve all of the minutes of December the 17th, December the 28th. So moved, Mr. Chair. Second. Moved by Ms. Cooper Smith and second by Mr. Ravenel that all the minutes of December 17th and 28th be approved as written. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Ayes have it. The motion is carried. At this point, uh, the floor is now open for public comments of agenda items. If you have anything on the agenda that you would like to accept for item number uh, five, which is the public hearing, we wait until you get there. If you have anything else on the agenda item at this point, you can support it. Um, to the councilman and the administrator and to all the officials and um, community people. I'm here for a special concern, not only for my neighborhood, for all of us, even for the state of South Carolina. We have a serious problem, and my opinion is it's not getting better. We are having a lot of litter, and if you don't know what litter is, it's trash in all our community, and I'm happy to see all of you here, so we may be able to come to some kind of solution or group that we can cut down to make our county, our state beautiful. Um, I've been picking up trash for the last 20 years, and I'm getting older, but we gotta find where we can get our litter done, not only Family. We need this done at all times. Now what can we do? I'm speaking to the councilmen and to the community people. We need to come together. And maybe you can form a group that we can get litter done. I know we have a doc. Go down to the highway department. You see my name. My name is Ernie T. Thompson. Okay, Ivan. This is information. Let's get together. Let's keep our community, our county, and our state clean. Thank you very much. Thank you. My name is Cassandra Cleckley, and I am a resident of the county, and I live right off of Belleville Road. I live down near the cemetery, and I am here tonight, too, to talk to you about the amount of trash that litters Belleville Road. Um, during the holidays, I expected company from out of town, and I was actually embarrassed that my company had to pass through such a littered area. It doesn't make any sense. The people whose jobs it is to pick up the trash, I also realized that uh, people need to take responsibility and not use the public roadways for dumpsters. I also realized that a lot of the trash is cotton. When the cotton crops are harvested there, the trash, the cotton is on the road. Well, trash is trash, whether it's harvested cotton or not, and it needs to be picked up. I don't have a problem forming the neighborhood committee watch to clean it up. The county needs to clean it up because I firmly believe that together we can do better. Thank you. And I'm here to congratulate my sister, Dolores Frazier, on her win. Um, for county council seat number six. Um, and I'd like for those of you who traveled from North Carolina, I see people from all over the state, her, I call you the peanut gallery. And to thank you for your win. We expect so much of you. And we expect this council to function appropriately and do what's best for the citizens of this county. Would you please stand, those of you who are here, to support the Lord's Fraser? To everyone who came in support of me yesterday. But I'd like to thank each and every one of you for your vote. First of all, I want to thank God. Then I want to thank my constituents, those persons who voted for me. I appreciate what you did. But thank those persons who came from North Carolina, from Africa. Thank 
Because I'm not going to say anything else. Because Mr. Shoes is going to make me cry. Director and her team. And litter is a big problem in Orangeburg County, as you know. There's no way you can go in this county and not see litter. There's an ordinance that says that, I think in the ordinance it says that trucks carrying litter to the landfill should have covers. That's not the case. Now people are dumping their household garbage on these roads. And it is really atrocious. I have a report from the Director of Litter, Ms. Marie Canty, and this year, last year, 2018, 210,540 200, 200, pounds of litter was picked up in Orangeburg County. That's 105 tons. A ton equal 2,000 pounds. Can you imagine 2,000 pounds of litter in your community? or on your street, it's atrocious. We have an ordinance that many cases of citations have been written, people, fines have been paid, but the problem still exists. I believe that people who litter should, yeah, pay a fine, but they should do public service work. Wear a jacket saying I'm a little rock, I'm a little bug, and pick up litter. People are not, they, they don't seem to, you have to be embarrassed. They hit them with a little fine, they pay it, and they litter again. This is our kind. So this is something we need to look at. If you see somebody littering, there's nothing you can do. And you can't even report it if you can't prove that they litter. But please, encourage people not to litter because it only makes us look bad. We're going to our regular agenda and the resolution and audience. Uh, first item is a resolution honoring uh, Councilwoman Ray W. Sabalas and I will yield to Cooper Smith to uh, read that. Okay, um, State of South Carolina. Resolution honoring Councilwoman Gray Sabanis. Would you come, <coughs> dear lady? This, this resolution reads as follows. Whereas Ray Wanamaker Sabanis is the oldest of seven children born to the late Betty Ray Davis and William W. Wanamaker III. Her father was a graduate of Citadel, Cornell University, and the University of South Carolina. He was president of the Watery Chemical Company. And whereas, following the death of Clyde Burns Livingston in July of 2017, Councilwoman Sabalis decided to run for his unexpired term and won in the November special election with 59% of the votes. And whereas, while serving on Orangeburg County Council, she played an important role in communicating her ideas and was admired by her colleagues. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Orangeburg County Council does hereby acknowledge the legendary work, outstanding contributions, and services rendered by Councilwoman Ray Sebelius to the state of South Carolina and the county of Orangeburg. It is with heartfelt honor and pride that our unforgettable colleague be given this resolution this seventh day of January 2019. Be it resolved, be it further resolved, that a copy of this resolution should be spread across the permanent written records of Orangeburg County. A test, Connie N. Porti, Johnny Ryan Chairman, Janie Cooper Smith, Byron County District 5. <laughs> Can I get a motion and a second to pass this resolution, please? Move, Mr. Chairman. Second. second. Moved by Harry Wimbley, second by Mr. Lord Frazier, that we pass the resolution. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Ayes have it. The motion is carried. 
on to is an ordinance, and this is a third reading and a public hearing, and this is an ordinance amended, uh, amendment of the animal control ordinance. Um, is there any summary on that for those who may not have been at the last couple of meetings? Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. This is a update on the animal control ordinance that was passed in 2018 to discuss the request from Ms. Susan Strzok to rezone the property from 270 18 old number six highway uh, from forest and agriculture to commercial general. The structure on the property was originally built to be used as a repair shop but was never reopened. The current owner wishes to use the property for a tractor and truck repair shop. Um, there's an existing similar use on the property, one, one property over. Um, the uh, property owner came to speak out in request of the proposal and also she does not live there. Her concerns were made and the planning commission unanimously voted to recommend approval to U.S. Council. <coughs> You've heard the explanation, Council. Uh, could I get a motion and a second for third reading on this, please? Yes, sir, Mr. Chair. Right. Moved by Mr. General Ravenel and second by Mr. Harry Wembley for third reading on Changing of designation, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> Ayes have it, the motion is carried. Next ordinance is second reading and a public hearing, and this is an ordinance adopting the Bailey Bill providing for special property tax assessment for a rehabilitated 
historical historic properties and other related matters. And I think this is something we are doing in relation to because the city did theirs and it's promote community development and redevelopment and encourage sound community planning and encourage the re restoration of historical properties. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. This is a, another property tax credit um, that would give a tax credit to developers who rehabilitate historic properties within the downtown area of Orangeburg, and it's a part of the Bailey Bill that the city is putting forward. So uh, we feel like this would help with the uh, restructuring and repair of a lot of the dilapidated buildings in the downtown of the, mm -hmm. of the city center and the county seat of the county of Orangeburg. Thank you, Mr. Administrator. The floor is open for public hearing. Anyone have any comments? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, when we're talking about historic buildings, you know, I looked at the city of Holly Hill, um, Utahville, Baltimore, and Elwood. They have a similar uh, setting of historic buildings as well. Uh, they qualify as well as the other ones. They would have to do a separate ordinance because as part of the property tax um, relief structure, the city would have to give yield some of their property tax revenue to pay for the credit. So that means any individual town or municipality that would want to do the bail bill would have to basically adopt it to make sure that they understand that portion of the revenue that would come in would not go to their general fund, but would go for the tax credit that person would get. So that developer, in lieu of paying the full tax, would get a credit. Therefore, the dollars that they would normally pay would not all would not all go back to the municipality for revenue. Mr. Chairman, mm -hmm. uh, you finished the public hearing. Uh, you finished with that? Uh, yeah, no, no, I'm saying if anybody else got anything, go ahead. Yeah. I got something to say, but uh, go ahead. Get ready to vote on it. I want to make sure the public hearing go. Okay, public hearing. No more person come up. And to didn't cover the whole. Uh, part of the city, just a special part, and uh, I'm 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 moving to carry this forward uh, on second read. So it gets back to can I get a motion and second for second read? Chairman, yes sir. As far as I'm concerned, this is a good idea. Like it's a long range uh, plan here yeah. <laughs> to fix one house before we get it. And this it looks like a snowball. It'll keep right on the other. So this time. Well, I see it's time to move on forward if we're going with it. And I think it's a good, it'll be a good thing over here years. Thank you. Can I get a motion and a second, a second read? Second. Yeah. Second. second. Moved by Mr. Ravenel and second by Mr. Livingston for second reading. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposes? Nay. The ayes have it. The motion is carried. Item is for first reading, there is an ordinance in first reading, and this is uh, an ordinance amending the Orangeburg County Flood Damage Present Prevention Ordinance to add a section regarding reasonable safe from flooding. I think uh, this is just something that we add some, just made a one insert to that, Mr. Administrator, is that, am I right? Yes, sir, Mr. Chair. And basically, is to allow us to be able to uh, be reasonably safe from flooding in our, in our damage prevention ordinance that allows us to go after additional funding for FEMA. All right, can I get a motion and a second for first reading? So moved. Second. Moved by Ms. Cooper Smith, second by Mr. Wimley for first reading. <coughs> All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposes? The ayes have it, the motion is carried. Appointment of, of board commission and uh, committees and I uh, have one appointment, and it's an appointment to the Orangeburg County Fire Commission for District Number 7. Yes. Next item is an update from the Public Works Committee, and I yield to the Chairperson, Mr. Johnny Ravenel. Mr. Chairman, uh, Council, we, the Public Works Committee met today at 4 o'clock, and um, we had three items on the agenda. Um, the first one was um, we discussed about uh, maintenance of dishes on Johnson Forest Road and Garden Road. Uh, how to carry that one forward. Uh, the second item was um, Logan's damage on the county road. Throughout Marlboro County, we have lately have a lot of um, Logan's in the county. Um, and at the same time, we have a lot of inclement weather. And 
doing a lot of damage to uh, our county roads. Uh, the recommendation coming from the Public Works Committee to recommend a letter to be given to the loggers uh, assessing the damage, and I've given, given them a letter of the estimate damage for fixing the county roads. I ain't got another draft from the county council. It has been uh, moved by the chairperson about a, a motion to draft a letter for damage to county road by loggers, and it was seconded by one of the members of the committee. Uh, all in favor of that, passing that. Could I hear? All in favor, say yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any opposers? I uh, said. And the third item was a uh, discussion of one time fix on uh, county uh, roads. Uh, they may not be kind of maintained roads, but if uh, we got some roads in the, in the county that uh, ambulance or sheriff department or whoever uh, emergency responders cannot access, uh, that could be a one time fix uh, given a letter that intent so that it would be done on a one-time fix and, and as needed. That is the formal motion. Moving second on the form of a one-time fix for roads and hardship situations where you may cannot get in there with the ambulance or medical needs to be done and it's not in the system. All in favor of it, please say aye. 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 Any opposers? Ayes have the motions carried. All right, we go back to, Mr. Before, Chairman, we go to before we go into Before we go into executive session, yep. I'd just like to congratulate Harry on having won the vice chair. Yep. No love lost, Harry. No love. We're going to still all get like we used to. <laughs> and I'm still on council. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Congratulations, Mr. Wimmer. Congratulations. Um, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Ian being uh, elected to Vice Chair, I'd like to put in form of a motion that uh, the Vice Chair has a two-year term and that we elect a new Vice Chair every two years. I can get a second. No. I do think we pass the Vice Chair to see around. And I would also like to see the chair seat pass around. John is a good chair, but I think others should have the experience of uh, voice in there. Johnny, listen, I love you, but I'm just... This, this is your seat. Yeah, I do. <laughs> not, not one, this is yeah. people's seat. Well, it's, it's up to the council, but it's just an idea that everybody who would like to serve should have the right to serve. Yeah, yeah the moving second uh, that the vice chair seat be rotated in two years. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposers? The ayes have it. The motion is carried. Any other comments from council before uh, we vote for executive session? If not, we would like to go in and uh, ask for a motion to go in executive session for the following, uh, following items. Contractual matters from Orangeburg Broadband, legal basis under the FOIA exemption of uh, Code 30-4. 78, discussion of negotiation incident to propose contractual agreements. We like to go to session for that discussion. Get a second on that. We have been moved by Mr. Orange and second by Mr. Ravenel that we nominate Mr. Ken Davis to the. All, right, all in favor of that, <laughs> all, all in favor of Mr. Ken Davis be. Uh, when fire commission let it be known by saying aye. aye. Any opposers? Ayes have the motions carried. Thank you.